second graders. I'm going to write the next section of my book. Last time I wrote about cat characteristics. This time I'm going to write about cat behavior. And this time I'm going to think a lot about using my expert verbs because a lot of cat behavior will involve using verbs. So first I need to write my heading at the top of the page, which is behavior. Now, when I look at paragraph structure, the next thing I write is a topic sentence. So I should be able to copy down the topic sentences I already brainstormed. My topic sentence for behavior is, cats love to jump and play. So I'm going to indent, cats love to jump and play. Now I need to write the details in my paragraph. So I'm going to look at my poster to read about cat behavior. So cats sleep a lot, cats need, and cats are predators. So these are all things that I can mention in my behavior section. So you can see that I already used two verbs here. I've used jump and play. Cats have an instinct to be predators. This means, so I'm telling my, my reader what predators means. This means that They like to hunt and a lot of their play involves them pretending to be hunters. So hunt is an expert verb because it's, that's a verb that's really specific to cats. They love to hunt. Another cat behavior is kneading. This is another one of my expert verbs and I'm going to tell my reader what kneading means. I'm going to say, which means using their paws to push into a soft surface. This behavior originates from kittens pushing their paws into their mom's fur to get milk. Cats love to sleep a lot and they often sleep hours each day. So here I used another one of my expert verbs. Now I need to write my concluding sentence. So I can do a question, wish, exclamation, or restatement of my topic sentence. 
I'm going to do a wish again. I hope you now understand cat behavior. Okay, second graders, I want you to write the next paragraph in your book. Make sure you have a heading, topic sentence, details, and a concluding sentence. Okay, bye.